Donald Trump thinks that the Federal Reserve is in total control of the, the Obama government and he thinks that as long as Obama is in the office there will be no rate hike. Ben Bernanke yesterday said that when recession strikes in the United States then the Fed should use negative rates to stem against any weakness in the whole uh, in the in the economy actually so when it when you look at the US economy is it stable is it not is there a recession coming is there not then there is one fact you can say that the industry manufacturing sector in the United States is in recession and that has been the case for many many months and industrial production as we've seen yesterday dropped by uh, 0.4 percent because of lower demand and lower growth in the economy. Then there was the ISM um, index, the index for supply managers at 49.4 dropping below the threshold of 50 in August from 52.6 in July. So there is also bearish data coming from that. Slowdown in growth is the signal that you can read from that ISM index. Then there was business uh, inventories in July which were flat which was a bit of a disappointment because there was an outright drop in inventory investment subtracted that subtracted almost 1.3 percentage points off of the GDP growth in the second quarter so everybody hoped that companies would invest in the build up of inventories because if they invest in inventories to build them up they produce more, which is um, uh, resulting in more growth. And it's also a signal that they expect more demand in the coming months, which is not the case. Business inventories were flat in, uh, in, in July. And yeah, that's actually a very a bearish signal because sales also went down again. So there is... Um, yeah, this, the, the Atlanta Fed is actually expecting that the um, U.S. economy is growing by above 3.5% um, for the current quarter and those data just don't point into that direction. So to summarize that, the industry in the United States manufacturing sector is still in recession. The only bright spot has been the consumer by now, but yesterday there was uh, concerning data that has been released. There was retail sales in August in the United States, which fell more than expected, which raises some eyebrows um, with regards to the strength of the U.S. Um, consumer. Then there was Bank of America making a survey in a global um, amongst um, global fund managers and they found out that 54% think that bonds and stocks are too high in their valuation, that they are too expensive. That's a record level never before in that survey have um, fund managers on a global basis thought that bonds and stocks are that expensive. But the reason for that is the low rates and the specter of lower rates for longer and actually yesterday the treasury yield curve steepened to its steepest level in about two and a half months and that just signals that rates um, are going higher on the um, on the short term or no going higher on the long term but they stay low on the short term and that just means that the in inflation risk that the markets are pricing long term are um, going up so inflation risk on the long term are going up and that is a result of no hike. So if the Federal Reserve, that's the, um, the understanding of the markets right now, if, if the Federal Reserve will um, delay any rate hikes just by half a year, for example, then there is more risk on the long term that there will be inflation coming to the market. So that is a clear signal from the uh, yield curve in treasuries and it's also the Fed fund futures which have um, um, priced in even lesser probability than at the start of the week. We were at 15% and now we are below 15% probability priced in for a rate hike next week.